Welcome to downtown Gilbert. This is the Lucky Paracord Man tutorial. This is our end product. It's a Lucky Paracord Man. It's about two and a half inches long. Uh, in total, it's about five and a half inches long. That leaves us a good uh, room to, uh, to have a loop and attach it to something. And there's really only two knots to know for this. And if you want to look up uh, how to do the knots from someone who might be able to explain it better than me, this part is a diamond knot for the head. And for the body, it's called cobra knots. With just some more cobra knots over the top for the arms part. So what I'm going to be using is some 550 paracord. Something to cut with and a lighter to finish the ends. And to get this, to get about this size of a Lucky Paracord Man. By the way, the only thing to know about a Lucky Paracord Man is that you cannot sell them. They can only be given away. I didn't make this rule. So I'm gonna grab my paracord and go uh, to my elbow five times, so. And we're left with a strand of paracord and we will find the center of it. And we'll wrap the center of it around our middle finger here. This will be the start of the loop of our paracord man. So the first thing we do is we take our right strand and make a loop with it, just like this, and lay it over the left strand. We'll do it one more time. We made a loop with the right strand, and we laid it over top of the left strand. Should look something like this. Now we take our left strand and bring it behind up and under itself on this loop that we made. Under itself on the loop we made. So it's going through this loop under this one. We're left with something that looks sort of pretzelish, And you can kind of straighten it out. It should look like this. The next step is to identify the middle, the, the diamond part. And what we're gonna do is take our right strand and go over everything. And through the middle diamond. The next thing is to take the left strand Swap places with it, and the same thing. Go through the back, through the front of that middle diamond. Now, this is the hardest part for me, is forming the head. And you have to make sure to not twist anything. And you sort of just keep it together but shorten all of them and you may get to a point where it just doesn't look like it's working I've gotten there a bunch of times uh, at that point just start this part over we're just kind of tightening everything as we go trying to keep it into a ball it kind of helps if you just really work it like this Trying to work it into a ball. If you were to just pull on any one of these strands, it would kind of ruin it. So you sort of have to do it all together. And if there's any big piece sticking out like this one, you can just push it through and follow it around.
So far, so good, I think. I'm still just kind of working this around. And once you make a couple paracord men, you'll know when the head is sort of working and when it's not. Just gently tightening all four strands, trying to keep that head shape. What we're shooting for is this really symmetrical diamond knot. It's, I'm not sure how to tell when it's done other than you know when it's done. See, so I see some slack here. I see some slack right there. I'm gonna pull that through. You can see that weave pattern coming through on the head. It should be, look like a weave pattern all the way around his head. And it should be very symmetrical. And this is close, but I'm almost satisfied with this head. I think I'm gonna live with this. It's not perfect. There, once we got it all, and you don't want it real loose, you want it to be pretty tight so that when you're working the rest of it, it doesn't come on, uh, it doesn't look all weird. The next thing we do is we turn our paraman upside down and we try to keep these uh, lined up here. I don't want to start it vertically like this. I want to start it like this. And I'm shooting for about two inches or so to start with the feet. And now we're gonna begin our snake knots. We're gonna go about two inches from the head and we're gonna take the right strand, make a loop to the front. The left strand goes in front of this end behind everything and through the right loop. You should end with something like this. And you kind of pull the body as well. This one doesn't have to be super tight because we can tighten it on the second pass. The more important thing is that we get this length correct. If we don't, we might run out of paracord. So far, so good. We have our loop, we have our head, and we're gonna go about two inches up to start the feet. That was our first snake knot, and we're gonna just repeat these snake knots. We're gonna be working with this end because it has a vertical bar. That's the vertical bar. And it'll become more apparent. We'll do another snake knot. So we'll take the left end this time, go to the front, we'll take the right end, cross it, and behind everything, and through the left loop. We should end with our second snake knot, and here's where we can tighten that first one. Checking the length, everything looks good, the length looks good, we have our feet. Now, starting again with this one, the vertical bar. Another snake knot. We take the end over the front. We take the other end, cross it over the back, through. Get these good and tight. And make sure everything is straight as you go. So far so good. Here's the vertical bar. So we'll start with this one. We'll go around the front. We'll take the other one and cross it. Then we'll go behind and through. And when we get to the end, you can leave a little bit of a neck, but I wouldn't leave a neck much longer than that. And I'm actually gonna close that up. One final. Cobra knot, sorry, Cobra knot. I think I call it a snake knot. 
And we can see everything's nice and straight. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're shooting for between five and six. But here we are at the end, and it's time to make the arms. What we're gonna do for the arms is take our finished guy. It doesn't matter what side. We're gonna flip him upside down. No, sorry, we're not gonna flip him upside down. Well, yeah, because we were working from this way. We're gonna flip him upside down. And we're gonna repeat the process of cobra knots over the top of our old cobra knots. So here's the vertical bar. We'll do the same process. And this one you wanna line up so that it's not down here, but more up here. Get this real tight. And flat. And we do the same thing. Here's our vertical bar. We will do more Cobra knots. Real tight. And as you can see, all that's left to do is finish Cobra knots until about halfway down or so. Our little paracord man. And you'll know when it's when it's right. So on this one, it's about halfway down. That's kind of what we're shooting for. Here's our vertical bar. Open. Maybe looks like one more. Maybe one more. Maybe two more, we'll see. Nice and tight. See, does that look like a good man? If we do one more, is that gonna be two long arms? Yeah, I think we'll take off this one and just do this one. So it looks like our head came uh, a little misshapen. We can fix that just by working it into a ball again. Very good. Get these real tight. Now we have to finish our ends. We're gonna leave a little bit, but not too much. So we're gonna light this. Get it good and blobby. We're gonna take our file and press it. Gives it a nice little texture. Get that good and melty, then we flatten it. And what we have is a completed Lucky Paracord Man. We have plenty of room to, uh, to hitch it onto something. A zipper pull. Release them into your neighborhood. 
you know, uh, that's our lucky paracord man. From here you can uh, be creative. Maybe you want to tie a, a little knot right here and here so he has little fists instead of hands. Maybe you want to make a real tall paracord man or a real short one. Or uh, I'm a big arts and farts guy, so you know, let your imagination run wild. 